when it comes to films about time travel, I am there. I will always watch them. I will give any a go. And The Time Machine, the 2002 film directed by Simon Wells, um, with a screenplay by John Logan based on the novel by H.G. Wells, was absolutely something that I wanted to watch. It sounded great. I'd heard some good things about it. I'm very pleased to say that I did thoroughly enjoy this film. I haven't read the novel, so I can't compare the two, if you know how they compare or have any kind of opinions either way about how they differ, you know, I'd, I'd be really interested in hearing what you think. The description from IMDb makes this sound really compelling, and this says, hoping to alter the events of the past, a 19th century inventor instead travels 800,000 years into the future, where he finds humankind divided into two warring wa- races. Yeah, I mean, that exactly sounds like what the future is going to be like, doesn't it? Uh, slightly terrifying. I'll be honest, the narrative, I wasn't that bothered about. I was interested enough to see what happened. I was curious to see how they'd you know get back from the future or if the timelines would be altered. And indeed, I wanted to see what this interpretation of the future was like as well. That was definitely something I was interested in. But what drew me into this film is the visual quality. I think the visuals are really beautiful and just so stunning and I wish I'd seen this in the cinema. Now I was 10 when this came out and it is a PG but it absolutely definitely would not have been my kind of film at the time. But now time travel films definitely are my kind of thing and I love it. The design of the machine is just beautiful and I love you know, the 19th century attire and the costumes and the mannerisms as well. I feel like it just kind of ticked all of the boxes and kind of got everything really spot on for what I would have wanted for this film. The acting is great as well. Guy Pierce plays Alexander Hodgkin and Phyllida Law is in this, Mark Addy. I think the casting is absolutely spot on. Jeremy Irons is in it. It's brilliant. So for me... It really appealed to me and really kind of just ticked every single box. The novel was released, I believe, in 1895. Um, So obviously it was a contemporaneous approach to time travel at the time. But I find it really interesting that a contemporary film of today, well, 19 years ago, but relatively contemporary, dealt with time travel that took place initially in the 19th century and I just think that's so fascinating and I think they got it spot on for what I would have wanted from this. If you're looking for a time travel film, absolutely this film is one to watch. It's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's creative. The narrative, although not completely compelling to me personally, um, unfolded really well and it's just an absolute visual treat. If you haven't seen it and you like time travel films, absolutely this is one that you're going to want to watch.